Hey everyone, uh, just doing a quick update real quick of a couple of things I am built. I have built over uh, the summertime and uh, things I plan on building. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this as quick as possible. I'm also, uh, as soon as I can get a proper camera and a proper way to uh, upload everything and all that, I'm going to try and start actually making a specific series and all that kind of thing. But until I can figure out better quality stuff and everything, um, this is kind of how it's going to be, just kind of a random stuff channel. Uh, I apologize about that. I know that's not particularly comfortable trying to like find things or whatever, but uh, I am going to be working on that. Um, I've also noticed I've gotten a lot of positive feedback for my uh, Stormtrooper armor. Uh, I appreciate everyone uh, that has commented on there. Um, of course, I'm here right now for the summer so I can't exactly work on a tutorial for that um, another thing too is I just don't have a lot of time space or money to uh, do that stuff over and over again at least one thing um, so it's a little difficult doing an actual tutorial because I don't have materials to recreate it nor do I have space to uh, put it afterwards um, uh, yeah, so it's, I don't know, it's a little wonkity. That and the uh, thin, really, really, really thin EVA foam that I found f to use to make that build was kind of a one-time shot. It was a magical thing that just happened, and uh, not very resourceful, apparently, because I can't really find out where I can find the really, really, really thin stuff. So if anyone can help me out with that, that'd be perfect. But um, otherwise... Here's one thing I've been working on, or built, recently. Um, it's a fantasy, like, dwarven... Um, yeah, pausing in videos. It doesn't seem like much to you guys, but it can be an hour for me. Um, yeah, so, fantasy, dwarven, war axe kind of thing. I try to make it somewhat realistic, but still look cool and fantasy and everything because it's um and I, I, I like trying to make it as realistic as i possibly can but you know still give the fantasy vibe that being said i also realize for anyone that's like a swords enthusiast or anything if i ever make like a fantasy sword or axe or whatever I, I i do get it so i'm not gonna sit here and uh you know pass off anything as 100 percent accurate or anything to history um but yeah so <laughs> Uh, getting that disclaimer out of the way because you know YouTube seems to have a recent problem of that stuff. I just use a PVC pipe. Uh, I do believe this is a three-quarter inch PVC pipe. Uh, should say it right around here. Oh, well, nah. Anyways, three-quarter inch uh, PVC pipe, and then I just use a bunch of foam. Uh, just sandwich two pieces together, and I used a uh, craft uh, knife thing box opener that kind of extends it's not the ones that just have a little uh trapezoid shape um razors it's one that can extend to like a full blade length really like those because you can get it really nice and long and you can cut along here and it's it's really really sharp and they're really cheap i got mine at walmart for like two bucks and i got two sizes uh so yeah there's that, and also all this is also engraved. It's not just Sharpie, so whenever I hit it with any kind of heat, uh, that'll um, kind of depress, and then I can paint it, and it'll be cool, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've also made another foam board sword uh, a little bit nicer, because I didn't just use scissors or anything, and I used a knife with a couple passes. still relatively rough. It's also slightly bent, but I mean... It's about as good as I can get. Or, not a Viking sword, it's a Viking era sword. Um, but yeah, so basically I just used two pieces. Uh, I also you for the blade, uh, what I did is I took one of my wooden swords and I kind of positioned it in a such a way and um, on the foam board, and then traced it out, and then at whatever length that this particular model was, I think it was like 26 inches or something like that, I stopped and then I kind of did a rough... Uh, sketch of how the handle and pommel and cross guard should be and then I basically just made two extra Layers for the pommel and the handguard uh, and then for the handle I added a little piece Eventually I am going to kind of make that a little bit more round and a little more subtle But just to give it a little bit more to hang on to and it's fairly um, Stable 
so you could probably wear it at like a con or something. But I mean, uh, I, I definitely prefer using like um, foam with a uh, fiberglass rod in the center. Again, I just don't really have the tools or the knowledge to play around with that yet. Um, but I will, hopefully, soon. So there's that. Um, I'm going to make a separate video on that thing. Hope you guys like that. Real quick, too, a future thing that I'm planning on doing with this. Sorry for the lighting. It's kind of crap. Um, so I'm wanting to make a Star Wars-style blaster out of this uh, Airsoft M1911. I know they only use, or tried to only use European guns, so I kind of thought it would be an interesting twist uh, on purpose to use an American gun. I kind of wanted to make it look uh, a lot like the A180, uh, which is very similar, or is the technical name by uh, for Jen Urso's blaster. Uh, I really like the aesthetics of it and everything, and since the Luger is kind of the uh, European cousin to the M1911, I thought it would be fitting to do that. So real quick, I'm going to take this apart and kind of show you what I want to do. Okay, so basically all I did is I kind of slid the barrel off, took off the bracket and did that. So what I was thinking about doing is, instead of cutting this up and everything, I was going to make a reproduction of the back half of the uh, top part of the gun out of foam, get it relatively accurate, and glue it to the top here. And then with scrap PVC, put it... Uh, right in the front because there's a little lip right here. And then cut it at a certain, uh, certain point, drill some holes, and then the back part of the top uh, of the slide will be there. Um, it will all be conjoined and put a bunch of other extra greeblies and whatnot. So look forward to that. Um, yeah, other than that, nothing much has been happening. I will do an extra separate video on this because I'm running out of time. Uh, but yeah. Uh, hope everyone's having a good day, and I'll talk to you guys soon.